how are you doing? I would like to say if you're not subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be talking about various topics and I'm sure you don't want to miss it. So stay tuned and enjoy. What do you cherish? Now, while you're taking time to think about the things that you cherish, I'm going to show you a few of the things that I cherish. So this ring that you may have seen on some of my videos is a promise ring. And my mom and my sister, we all have the same ring. And I cherish this ring. Also, this necklace that you see, it says Faith. It's a cross necklace. My mom and my sister also have the same necklace. And so I cherish this as well. This teddy bear I got for Valentine's Day in, oh, in 2022. And I cherish this teddy bear because I love stuffed animals. And so whenever I receive things, I try to keep them and cherish them because I know that, you know, people aren't on this earth forever. And so it's nice to have sentimental things from people. Also, my family used to take a vacation every year from 2014, I think, until 2019. And so when my family, my dad, my sister, and my mom, and me, of course, were in North Carolina, I went on a boardwalk and I bought this hat and I wanted to save it for memories. And so I'm not wearing this hat right now. So I just stick it on this teddy bear which I cherish, so I cherish them both. This umbrella, I'm not going to open it because I don't want it to pop in my face, but this umbrella I've had for years. This umbrella I've had since I was in fourth grade. I'm 20, so that's been at least a decade that I've had this umbrella. And so the inside of this umbrella says Tania Smith, my name, and then it also says don't touch, God is looking, and the O's and looking have eyes. And so my Nana gave me this umbrella that I'm trying to put down. My Nana gave me this umbrella when I was in fourth grade. And so the story behind this umbrella is, so when I was in fourth grade, my school would have this guy come and he would sell chocolate bars that were $1. There were milk chocolate bars, um, dark chocolate bars, caramel chocolate bars, and then some of them may have had some type of like almonds in there or something like that. And one time my sister went to the same elementary school as me. And so I used the dollar that she gave me to get her a chocolate bar. And I put it in my lunchbox. And when I was helping clean up the table and things like that, I asked two of my classmates to hold my lunchbox so no one would steal it. Well, when I got my lunchbox back, the chocolate bar wasn't in there. And I was really sad and upset because I knew the chocolate bar was in there and I didn't eat well, it was my sister's because I was saving that bar for her. It was her bar. She gave me the dollar to get her a chocolate bar. And so the girls that had my lunchbox, I asked them, did one of them steal my chocolate bars? They both told me no. And so then one of them later on said, oh, we saw a chocolate bar wrapper in the bathroom and they showed me, but it wasn't the chocolate bar that I bought for my sister. So I was really upset about that. And I remember my mom or Anana gave me what to tell those girls, which was, you will reap what you sow. I don't know like if they gave it to someone or if they ate it, but that was it. I was still nice to those girls the rest of the school year, but I was really sad because I felt bad for my sister. She gave me a dollar to get her a chocolate bar and the chocolate bar was gone and I wasn't able to get her, give it to her. So my Nana gave me this umbrella and when she heard about what happened with the chocolate bar, she wrote, Tania Smith, that's my name, don't touch, God is looking. And so I've had this umbrella for years because it reminds me of one, how nice my Nana is, and also how she was making sure that no one is gonna take my umbrella. So I've had this umbrella for years and I cherish it. This isn't something that I'd give to someone, say, you can have it, no, this is mine. My Nana gave this to me and this is mine. I've had this for 10 years, I don't care. It's, it's the story behind this umbrella. It's the value behind this umbrella. I cherish it. Some people might say it's just an umbrella. It's just an umbrella to you, but to me, this is an umbrella for my Nana that I cherish. Also, I want to show you something else that I cherish. Is this Build-A-Bear? So my sister, my thoughtful best friend, was so nice to get me a Build-A-Bear for my 20th birthday. I remember seeing Build-A-Bear commercials when I was little and I always wanted one. 
always. And my sister remembered that. And so for my 20th birthday, she gave me this Build-A-Bear. And some people might say, oh, it's just a teddy bear. But to me, it's more than that. It's my sister remembering what I've always wanted and her using her money to get me something that I've always wanted. But not only that, I love teddy bears. And my sister, who is also my best friend, knew that. So for her to get me this Build-A-Bear, it meant so much to me. And I cherish this Build-A-Bear. I don't know what it is. I don't know like if this is a fox or a cat. I don't know what type of animal this is, but I cherish it. And also I named the stuffed animal after my sister because I love her so much. But I cherish this, uh, whatever creature this is, I cherish it. I cherish this teddy bear. And there are other things that I've received from people that I cherish. I wasn't able to show you everything. Like the house coat that my mom gave me, I cherish that. And then I have a cross piece from a necklace that I have to add a chain to that my granddaddy gave me, but I cherish that. And there are other things that I have that I cherish that people were nice enough to give me. And so have you thought about the things that you cherish? Because I cherish a lot of things. Do you cherish sentimental things from people? Because as you see, I, I do. Mm -hmm. Do you cherish time? I know some people can take things for granted, but do you cherish time? Do you cherish the time that you have with people? Because you know, people don't live forever. There are times where people are here and then they're not anymore. And you don't want to take people for granted. You don't want to take your loved ones for granted. So cherish the time that you have with the people in your life. I cherish the time that I have with people in my life. I don't take the people in my life for granted. I don't take the memories that I make with the people in my life for granted. I remember them. I try to take pictures and video record so that years from now I can look back on these memories and see and, and enjoy reminiscing what happened years ago. Reminiscing the memories that I have from years ago. Do you cherish memories? Do you cherish people and not take them for granted? What do you cherish? I want you to think about that. And if you are someone who takes people for granted, if you're someone who doesn't cherish memories, cherish the time that you have with loved ones, if you're someone who doesn't cherish anything, well, why don't you start cherishing things? Because you don't want to look back on your life and you missed out on so much because you didn't cherish the things, the people that you had in your life. And before you knew it, those things and the people were gone. So take time to cherish making memories with people. Cherish the time that you have with people. Cherish the things that people give you. Don't take people in your life for granted. Don't take the things in your life for granted. I don't take the people in my life for granted. I don't. So I just wanted to ask you that question because I know I cherish things. I cherish people, but I wasn't sure if you cherish things, if you cherish people, if you take people for granted. I just wanted to know. But if you do take people for granted, it's not too late to change that. It's not too late to cherish people, to cherish things that you have for people to cherish the time that you have with people, to cherish the memories that you make with people. It's not too late. But that's all I wanted to say. I was just curious. Like, hey, I cherish these things. Do you have things that you cherish? Do you cherish people? I was just curious. But it was really great talking to you. I hope you have a blessed rest of the day and I will see you in another video. Thank you for watching. And if you're not subscribed, don't forget to subscribe. I'll be posting more videos, so stay tuned. Bye.